Kaneohe, 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 the windward side. People love living in the windward side, but let me tell you about that weather. That weather over there, whew, very moist, very, very moist. We're actually going to talk about why people love living in Kaneohe on the windward side. And we're going to talk about, we're going to dive all these things, the weather, the roads, what's, what's there to do over there? Why do people really love living in Kaneohe? We're going to talk about all that and more right now. <laughs> What's going on? Welcome to the Living in Hawaii channel. If you are new here, this channel is all about what it's like to live in Hawaii, what it's like to eat, sleep, play, breathe, the up, down, left, and right, everything that you need to know about living in Hawaii. If you're not new here, welcome on back. Make sure you all hit that like button. It's going to help anybody else be able to find these helpful videos. Hit the subscribe button and that notification bell so that you get notified anytime that we put out a new video on this channel. And look, we get tons of people reaching out that are either already in Hawaii and trying to find that place that best fits their lifestyle or looking to relocate to Hawaii. And we just help these people all the time. We absolutely love it. And you know how most of them reach out? They reach out by sending me the text, the email, they call me, or they skip all that and they use the Zoom link down in the description below. And you can do the same thing. Even the text message that you saw pop up right here, you can shoot me that text message. Myself or our team will answer and we will help you and assist you in any way we can with your move to Hawaii. That is exactly what we do. We got your back when moving to Hawaii. You've undoubtedly already been doing your homework on Kaneohe, but just in case you haven't, we always like to identify where these areas are at. Some people may not come across Kaneohe. It's not searched near as much as some of these other areas like Kailua or everybody knows Waikiki, right? And then people are starting to understand like Kapolei, oh, Kapolei, right? So Kaneohe is just not like up there yet, but why? But why do people love living over there then? We're gonna get into that. We always gotta identify these areas first so that you understand where exactly it is on the island of Oahu. So let's go ahead and pop up this cool Google Earth animation for you so that you can see where it is. We're gonna zoom in on it and we are going to really see where Kaneohe is, which the zip code for Kaneohe is 96744, which you can see Google Earth actually highlights in red around the area of 96744. You can see Kaneohe over there on what we call the windward side. The windward side really means that it's, so the mountains, first of all, kind of like separate Kaneohe from just about the rest of the island, right? It's, it's like nestled over there. But the windward side, because the trade winds come down from the Pacific. When the trade winds come down from the Pacific, the first place that they're hitting, Kaneohe Kailua, and then a little bit of the North Shore up there on that side. But Kaneohe and Kailua, the windward side, that's the reason why is those trade winds are coming in and they get all those beautiful breezes, but they also get some other things too, which we're going to talk about when we get into the weather. So we've identified where Kaneohe is. Let's talk a little bit more about it in reference to some other things. So yes, it's the next door neighbor to Kailua. Okay, just north of Kailua. You can be over in Kailua, you know, hop, skip and a jump, be there in a quick few minutes, depending on which part of Kaneohe you live in. If you live up in like Ahui Manu, for instance, this may take you a little bit longer, but Kailua is the next door neighbor. So what about maybe like commuting to the airport? Several different ways you can get down there, but quickest is gonna be to take H3. H3 is that probably the most beautiful drive on the island, if not top five, where if you're if you're heading to Kaneohe, you're gonna get a different view, but if you're leaving, right? If you're leaving the windward side and heading to the tunnel, right then um the harano tunnel up there then you're going to be driving through the mountains you're going to see like stairway to heaven on the side right you're going to hit the tunnel if you're going to go through this tunnel you see all the beauty if it's raining if it's raining now make sure you pay attention to the road but if it's raining and you're heading that way right you're heading out of windward you're going to see waterfalls through every single ridge of the mountains it's amazing when i was going to college over there matter of fact uh, it, it, I mean, we're, we're going to talk about this some more, but coming back on those days, just waterfalls, you just see them all through. It's pretty, pretty, pretty cool. It's a beautiful thing to see, but that's where we're talking about. I mean, I got way off track. H3 is going to be your quickest route to get you to the airport. You're going to take H3 down to the airport, roughly, you know, 25 or 30 minutes. Not that bad, depending on traffic, right? And the time of day, that's always the thing, right? Traffic, time of day that you're leaving, time of the, time of the day that you need to be at the airport. 
H3 is going to be your quickest route, beautiful drive to get over there. Okay. Same thing when we're talking about like Waikiki. If you want to kind of make sure you have access to Waikiki, you're looking at roughly, you know, depending on the area of Kaneohe you live in too, but you will, you will be able to like, you can catch the poly, right? Or you can hit the leak egg and you can take both of them. They're both routed and they both go pretty much straight down. Now the leak is going to take you more to like the Honolulu business district side of things. Okay. And then the poly is going to bring you down into still the business district, but you're going to be a little bit closer to Waikiki in that sense. So a couple things there. Now talking about the West side. Well, the West side, if you're talking about having access to the West side, but you want to live in Kaneohe, then you're going to have a good little drive on your hands. And that's the one that I did because I lived in Kapolei, which is in the Southwest corner. And I went to college at HPU for nursing, which not a nurse anymore, right? Real estate agent. But I went um, to nursing school up in HPU, roughly 45 to 50 minute drive from Kapolei to get over there. And I did that three times a week for classes, right? So a little bit of reference points for you to think about when you're considering living in Kaneohe. Let's go ahead and dive into some other things. One of the reasons people love living in Kaneohe is because of the weather. All right. And then there's a lot. That's actually one of the reasons why a lot of people don't live in Kaneohe. But it's one of the big reasons why a lot of people do live in Kaneohe because of the weather, because it's cooler over there, because they get the trade winds like we were talking about, the trade winds coming in. But what comes with that is a lot of rain. And what comes with a lot of rain? Pretty much a lot of green, right? A lot of green, a lot of lush green, a lot of moisture, right? These types of things. And moisture is also a breeding ground for, like, well, Hawaii in general, the tropical environment out here is just like a breeding ground for bugs, right? When we're talking about termites, when we're talking about these crazy cockroaches out here, when we got centipedes, ants, like these types of things. Uh, matter of fact, my, my pest guy was just here, actually. Uh, but I don't live in Kaneohe, right? But Hawaii is just a breeding ground. But over in Kaneohe, when we're talking about the weather, because it's a lot cooler, what is it? Ha what happens when it's a lot cooler? You can open up all these windows. You can open up the windows. You can get the air flowing, right? Especially when we're hitting the fall and winter time over here. Kaneohe over there, I, people that I talk to that live over there, they're like, we don't run our AC. We haven't run our AC in a long time. <laughs> like, because it's Kaneohe. They, I mean, may turn it on like in the summer once or twice, but for the most part, like they're not using their AC, which what does that do? That helps with their electric bill because they don't have to. It's just so much wind and so much moisture and just really, really cool over there all the time. So it's a huge reason why people love to live over there. Now, some things we got to consider, right? Homes, home styles, what's available, like you know, it, they're a little bit older homes over there, but it's definitely more lush, more green. And that a lot of that has to do with the weather. So Kaneohe, when we're just talking about that, you just got to understand you're going to have a lot of rain, right? Lots and lots of rain. So when I was talking about, I went to school at HPU. One of the things that I would notice on that drive on the H3, pretty much, especially when it was time for fall classes and winter classes, driving through the h3 no matter what guaranteed to rain through the koalau mountains over there especially like it's like beginning of the tunnel so especially coming from um the south like the the middle of the south side of the island right not and i'm heading to the windward side on this side of the tunnel you could see kind of like the gray but it was still bright and shiny and then as soon as you got out of that tunnel rain rain all the time all the time it was raining and then same thing when I'm leaving class, like it's pouring rain, it's pouring rain. I get to the tunnel and I get out of the other side of the tunnel and it was like bright, super bright. And then it was like, what the heck? I, it was literally just pouring rain on the other side of the mountains. And I'm here on the other side of the mountains and it's, there's nothing wrong at all. So you got to take the weather, right? If you like the rain, you don't, or you don't mind the rain and you want to live in a much cooler spot on the island, then Kaneohe may be the spot for you. Another reason people love living in Kaneohe is because there's a lot less tourists. They pretty much stick to Kailua. There's not a ton of real tourist attractions over in Kaneohe. So Kaneohe does have a mall, but one of the big things for Kaneohe is they don't really have any beaches, actually none. So there's no real beach access. A lot of it is boat marinas or, you know, being right there close to the water, but there's no beaches. Like for instance, next door neighbor Kailua has, you know, Kailua beach or Lanikai. All right. And then they have the hike over there. Tons of great hiking in Kaneohe, by the way. 
but not a ton of beach access. And so really what a lot, a lot of people do is they go out to the sandbar. The sandbar is out there. It's pretty much where the water, like a lot of boats will come out and they'll just hang out at the sandbar. The water's just shallow enough that you can get out. And, and I'm not talking about like being close to shore either, right? We're going, we're, we got to get in the boat and we're heading out to the sandbar. And then people go there and hang out. And then the water is shallow enough that you can just, you know, chill in the water and those types of things. So a lot of people love to hang out in the sandbar. And really a lot of those people will go through or Kaneohe, right? That's Kaneohe. But there's just not a lot of tourist attractions, which for a lot of people that want to live there, they're like, great. We don't want to be around that, right? That's the reason we don't live in Waikiki or Kailua is because of all the tourists that have come through these areas. So we want to live in that cooler spot and we don't want to be around like all the tourists that are coming here. There's not, there's just really nothing there, right? In Kaneohe. If they're driving through Kaneohe, most of the time they're heading up to North Shore on that side, right? And they're they're checking out things up there on, over right there on Laie, right? Laie, you got all those cool beaches and stuff up there. You got to pass through. And there's some pretty cool drives, but for the most part, that's why people love living over there is just a lot less tourist. When it comes to Kaneohe and we're talking about finding a place that has more of a local feel to it, Kaneohe is that place. And that I bring that up because I get that question all the time as far as Ryan, we don't really want to live in a touristy area. We don't want to live in an area that seems like it's, I don't know, more modernized or we really want to have that local feel. We really want to get into an area with the local communities and get the local feel. Then I'm like, you know, Kaneohe may be the spot for you. Let's talk a little bit more about Kaneohe. I'll present some other things, talk about the home styles. We'll talk about what else it has to offer over there. If you want to you know, talk about the schools, we can bring up great schools and we can talk about that but it has more of that local style feel. Some of that has to do with the communities, right? When we're talking about what's going on over in Kaneohe, what kind of you know people live in Kaneohe, uh, is it military heavy, is it tourist heavy, which we just went over, right? Uh, what's really going on over there? And Kaneohe does give you that local feel. When we're talking about the lush greenery, when we're talking about the things to do, the, the culture of the people, right? And now there are some things, right? It does have a mall, right? So we have the Windward Mall over there, which I mean, it's not, it's not like the hot and popping mall, all right? It's it's not, it's no Ala Moana, right? It, nothing is really any Ala Moana, which is our big, you know, the big outdoor mall down there in town. But it does have Windward Mall over there and it does have a lot of great local spots, a lot of little mom and pops that you can just go in and just find like this amazing place to eat right find these amazing spots whether it be a local coffee shop or whether it be some just you know local place that you can just find some good food to eat there's actually a pretty cool little karaoke bar over there too that i mean i'm not i'm not big on singing right we don't want to hear that right and i'm, I'm not about to do it in here but karaoke bar over there that's pretty cool little hangout uh it's not nothing crazy nothing big like i said just a lot of little cool local spots and when it comes to finding a place that may give you that local feel here on the island if it checks all your other boxes right so we always have this list and we're like okay yeah cool okay yeah cool all right maybe not but mm, is that a deal breaker right so those types of things but yes kaneohe is going to give you that local style community This point is going to really like tie into the one that we just mentioned when it came to, you know, just the local community. But Kaneohe is going to get you away from a lot of the hustle and bustle of a lot of the rest of the island. When we're talking about Oahu, Oahu is probably, you know, arguably the most developed island. I mean, there's not really much argument there, but it is the most developed island. And so we get you know, the most tourists. We just have the most people. We have the most development. And especially in Waikiki, when you're looking to get away from the hustle and bustle, right? It, Eva Beach is starting to get to that point. Kapolei is starting to get to that point where it's hustle and bustle, lots of people, right? Went to Costco last week and it was nuts, right? And nuts. I was like, mm, never making that mistake again. That was Costco and Kapolei, by the way, not Kaneohe's side. But when you're looking to get away from the hustle and bustle, you kind of want more quiet or more space, more, more peaceful, right? The kind of thing and uh, you're not necessarily in the thick of it when we're talking about some of these areas, Waikiki or next door in Kailua. Yes, Kailua getting busier, getting a lot busier, a lot of communities, right? A lot of people over there living over there, but we talked about it being more of the tourist attraction. 
right? So not only do they have a lot of the people just living there, but then they've got this other herd of people that are coming and hanging out at Lani Kai. They want to go do the Lani Kai pillbox hike. And a lot of people are just trying to find parking over there. If you ever tried to park in Lani Kai, not, not even just Lani Kai, in Kailua in general, go ahead and leave a comment down below of how much, how crazy that was, right? There's always road work. There's, there's one ways. It can be nuts over there. So in Kaneohe, right, coming back to Kaneohe and why people love living there, they don't have that hustle and bustle. We've already talked about less tourists. We've already talked about being more of the local style community, right? But now we're talking about less hustle and bustle. People more relaxed, more chill. Hey, we're just kind of kicking it over here. We're not, we're not trying to get into all that craziness, you know, that the rest of the island has. Not over here. We're not doing that. Kaneohe and North Shore kind of have that in common. It's like, we're chill. We're chill. We're not doing all that. So less hustle and bustle, not as busy. Another reason why people love living in Kaneohe. If you're a gardener, then you're going to love Kaneohe. One of the best places, spots on the island. We've already talked about all the moisture it gets, and we're all, we're all on the same island, so we get the sunshine too, right? If you're a gardener and you kind of want to have a spot that you're going to get enough space and have the, have the ideal location to grow your own food, this is the spot for you. Lots of people do it over there. Lots of people are growing their own vegetables and, and they just have their own gardening thing going on in Kaneohe because they get, they get the sunshine, right? They get the rain, they get the moisture, and it's just always green. Contrary to let's say like Eva Beach, right? In Eva or Eva Beach, when it's uh, summer, summertime, most of the time of year round, but especially summertime, which is what we're heading into right now, like you can tell the grass hasn't been watered. That grass is dead and we don't get a ton of rain either, right? Over in Eva Beach, it's all like, a cloud here and there kind of thing, but we don't get a ton of rain. And you can just tell when we haven't had the rain and, and the grass is, hasn't been watered, it's dead. So Eva, for instance, and Kapale may not be your ideal location for your gardening. Now, however, Kaneohe, right? Kaneohe has all these things that when it comes to gardening, we're talking about the soil, we're talking about the sun and, and the, the moisture and these types of things, definitely gonna have a better, more ideal location for you too plan out your gardening. So if you're into gardening, I just wanted to bring that up. That may be something that you want to consider. Now, is it a deal breaker? That's up for you to decide. And we can talk about that later on our call, but something to consider. Overall, Kaneohe, right? A great place. It's a really, really great place to live here on the island. If you can either handle some of those things, right, that we just mentioned, then hey, we can get on a call and we can talk about that, which is exactly what I was going to let you know is what I said in the beginning of the video, you can reach out anytime, right? Shoot that text, send me that email, slide in my DMs, you can skip all that, schedule your call using the Zoom link down in the description below, and you'll get on the call with myself or a member of our team. But however you want to get a hold of us, we got your back when moving to Hawaii. On this channel, we've done blog tours of all of these communities. We're out in these communities you can go see them firsthand tons of other information on this channel hey look if you made it this far already too and you haven't hit that like button what are you waiting for you're going to help other people uh, find this helpful videos right here on this channel hit that like button hit the subscribe button and the notification bell you'll get notified anytime that we put a new video out on this channel i just talked to you about all these other videos right you can explore all these communities not just kaneohe kailua Kapale, Eva Beach, Mililani, we've been there, we've been around, right? All these communities, those videos are gonna start popping up for you right now.